Now let's move on and there are a few documents that we need to understand about. I mean, um, if you have a production facility, then you will be having a store for raw material. You will also have store for finished goods. Then how do things move from one place to the other? There must be some kind of a control. And nothing should be moving from one place to another without any authorization. Now, in order to control the a very precious uh, uh, our, of, of our investment, like material that you have bought, it might be of million dollars. Uh, it cost you much so you need to put controls over that otherwise it will be stolen if you are not controlling it, it it will get wasted okay so we need some kind of a management system to do that well first of all what we do is we implement control document system like if nothing is going to move unless it is authorized by a document or it is uh, uh, evidenced by a document. So let's understand how it actually works. Suppose you have a production hall. And this is your facility where you produce things. You get the raw materials from the raw material store. Let's say this is your raw material is. And you also have finished goods store where whatever you are preparing will be sent to have them safe unless they are until they are sent to the customers. Right. Now the things move from this store to production hall. Okay, and the processing is done in this part. And then afterwards, whatever is produced is moved from the production hall to finished goods store. Now, how is that going to happen? Like, um, if production hall requires raw, more raw material, how to get it? Will it be like someone from production hall will be going to the raw material store and then, then just pick up anything or any amount he wants to, and there is no one to see whether he is picking up more, putting, putting some, in, some, some quantity in his pocket also, so that he can just go home with it. So you, now you might be thinking that yes, it is necessary that we need to control this inflow and outflow of a material inside the organization. So how do you control it? In this production hall, there will be a production manager okay, who is responsible for all the activities happening in production hall. Okay. Now, whenever production hall requires more raw material, it will be notified to production manager by the labor or any, anyone okay, or a supervisor. Now, this production manager will ensure that whether we really need the raw material or not. Okay, or some material has been wasted and now we need more material. Is it happening like this or we really need more raw material? Once he's satisfied, he will raise a request. He will write a document which will contain the request and he, that document will be addressed to a store manager Okay, that we need more raw material, so please issue this much units of raw material to production hall. Now the document that this production manager will be sending to raw material store manager is called material requisition note. Okay. What is the name of it? Material requisition note. So it is simply a request. A document with a request that we need more raw material. Okay. Now, once this document is received by a store manager, it will have the number of units. It will have the evidence that, yes, it is being required by a production manager because this document will have the signature of production manager. And once he is satisfied that everything is okay and he also has the material with him, he will issue those material and hand it over to the person 
and the same will be flowing into the production hall and then production hall can carry on with the production process okay well this will be the case if store manager has those amount of goods with him now what if he feels that we need to buy more of such raw material because we are low on raw material or we are already empty okay now what to do with this should raw material himself be going to the market and buy it well uh, you know there is a problem with that if this is going to happen I mean if we allow store manager to just go on himself and buy the raw material from the market he might be just motivated to buy things on his own on his own rate by, by, by colluding with the supplier so that he will be faking the invoices for higher rates where in, in reality he's buying goods uh, not uh, at, at the price which is not really that high so these things can happen so it must not be this authority must not be given to uh, the store manager so someone else must be responsible for that just like production manager cannot have the goods on his own because he might be wasting goods and there is no one who can ask or hold him accountable for that and by having a raw material store manager he will be questioned that why he needs so much raw material okay so things are under control by this if we follow these steps okay coming back to the point we don't have the material what to do now raw material store manager will be writing to purchase department or purchase manager okay that we need more raw material as we are short on that or we don't have any of these yet and production is still on and we'll be needing in it in in short time now the document that will contain the request to purchase more material will be called purchase requisition note okay now on receiving this request purchase manager will satisfy himself by sending one person to the raw, uh, raw material store to check whether we really need it he will also ask production manager whether he needs these raw material in future or not because if there is no need there is no point in buying it and thirdly he will satisfy himself with with observing what the request is about whether it is uh, correctly authorized whether it is from the person from whom he should be it should be made once he is he, he, he satisfies himself that everything is okay and we really need the stock he will be sending a purchase order to the supplier okay we will send a document to the supplier that we need this much units by this date and this will be addressed to whom the supplier or seller okay and what is purchase order is simply a document that contains the instructions to the supplier that we need this much material at this rate which was quoted by you or has been agreed with you etc now once the supplier receive this order supplier will send the goods to us right but who is going to receive those goods will it be purchase department will it be production manager no well the supplier when he is going to send the goods these will be received by raw material store manager directly because he knows what kind of raw material should be bought whether it is of good quality whether it is of same quality as he was requesting or as demanded by the production manager so he will be receiving the goods okay and he will be inspecting whether we have received the same number of goods as was requested and everything maybe on on receipt of such goods someone from the purchase department is also present at that scene 
to check whether the same has been received and accepted. Once the goods are received by raw material store manager, he will be raising a document called goods received note. Okay. And that is basically a note confirming the 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 receipt of the goods from the supplier. And this note will be sent to two places. One to the purchase department as a confirmation of the receipt against a purchase order that was placed by a purchase manager. And secondly, this will be sent to accounts department of the same. Okay. Now why is this necessary? We'll understand that in a minute. Remember, goods received note is a document that confirms that goods have been received duly from the supplier. Okay, and remember the document is goods received note or GRN. Okay. Now once the supplier has sent the goods, he will be sending an invoice for the same goods, right? He will be charging you for the price. Now this document will be received by accounts department. Okay, invoice. Now once the account, accounts department has received the invoice from the supplier, he need, they need to confirm that whether the goods have been received, whether the goods have been received with the same quality, and whether purchase department and raw material store manager is satisfied with such goods. Only then they will be making the payment, right? Well, goods received note is an evidence that everything went fine and the goods sent by the supplier has been accepted. And it will contain the number of units sent by the supplier, etc. Now they will be matching the contents of goods received note with the invoice and if they are satisfied that yes, everything is fine, then against the invoice, they will make the payment. Okay, cash will be sent to the supplier. And in response to the cash, supplier will send a what? He'll be sending cash receipt back to the accounts department right so this is how you see different documents are connected with each other and this is how the things are controlled in an organization I've given you a very simplistic view of the control documents you can have many of the documents and there are believe me and we'll be learning a few more of these kind of documents in F8 because when you are auditing a system, when you are inspecting control, you need to check what, how efficient and effective your controls are, how effectively you are using these documents to control the whole system. Okay? So, I hope you have understood that how purchases are made and how the same is being paid uh, and, and how material flows into the entity. But there is one more thing to it. Now, once the goods have been received by the raw material store manager, raw material store manager must have some kind of a way to manage that what material has came into the entity and at what rate it has came into the entity how much has been issued to the production hall so far, at what rate they have been issued to the production, production hall, and how much is still left with us. Well, in order to have the record of these things, we have bin cards, okay? A document that contains the record of how much material we have with us, okay? By the end of a period, how much has been uh, sent to production hall, right? And at what rate has been 
it has been issued to production hall. 